Welcome to episode 58 of IT Idiots. My name is Nicholas Hill. I'm Nicky Curtis. And this week we're going to be doing all things Dellintosh. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we can see, we've got a quite a big Dell box here. It's so. huge, isn't it? Absolutely <laughs> massive. <laughs> Mate, that's the size of my company. This is the size of the service that I need to be able to implement and run my company. I'm not quite as in it. So, what are we going to be doing this week, Nicky? Uh, this week we're going to be doing stuff for you. Oh, excellent. Company. So, um, <laughs> what Nick's done is he's bought this, this server here. <laughs> I don't know if you, you saw it on the Dell website where they were selling service for £99 and this is what this okay. is. Plus a bit more specced up because you're not that much of a peasant. Well, I'm not far off. Should we move it out of the way? Yeah, I think we'll get out of the way, yeah. So, that's tape and everything. Now, what you've, a bit of advice, it says if, if uh, seal's broken, don't sign for it. Okay. A bit of advice for people out there. Okay. You agree with that? I do agree with that. Of course, he's not looking bad for a hundred quid at all. I've got to get one of these as a new desktop. It depends how noisy it is. Dude, look. The yeah. USB's on the front. I mean, that's got desktop form factor. It has got desktop form factor. So you've got starter drives and um, other than that. You, you happy with it? Yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just nosing, isn't it? Yeah, 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 no, sure. Because no, really, really. I'm seriously thinking about getting one. If, if this is quiet, I'm going to get hey, Nicky, so I thought I'd bring you downstairs and show you my uh, server cupboard. And this is uh, obviously high security. You can see the little lock on the door. Uh -huh. um, what, what do you think? Um, uh, it's, it's quite embarrassing, really, Nick. Yeah, so I'm connected across to the, that wonderful noisy server that you've all just seen. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to do a little bit of exploring just to, to find out what's going on in the server. So um, I'm just going to go into computer management. Now, Nick, you're only running that one server, aren't you? Which oh, yeah. is yeah. your business server. Yeah. So first of all, I'm just going to have a look at the disks on it. That's probably not a bad idea. We can full screen that and disk management. Because what have we got in the new machine? We've got two two fifty gig drives, have we? Correct. And a yeah. SATA. Okay, so let's make sure you've got enough storage space, and you can see instantly that that's absolutely fine. You're not using anything, are you? No, I don't use anything. So it looks like on there you've got two drives, one forty and one hundred and fifty, uh, and yeah. these two disc two and disc three. There, are the USB drives on the They're USB there. externals, yeah. So obviously migration data. You don't need to worry about those. It's just these. So we need to find out what's on C, D, F, and G. Okay, due to uh, cut back in funding. Yeah, we, we've got no way of capturing this screen. Yeah, because we don't have one of these special dark room type pointer camera. No, um, we literally do, what you see is what you get with us, isn't it? We, we do acknowledge, thank you very much for the two donations. Do you get two donations? We, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I went to the cinema. Did you? Not enough for both of us to go now? No, alone. Okay. <laughs> maybe we'll go to Man a matinee, they're cheaper, aren't they? Yeah, maybe next year. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. So, and the other thing is the battery, the battery finally failed on the microphone. On the microphone, so that's So I couldn't go to the cinema and replace the battery and I was selfish. Yeah, I mean, it's, what it did. what's it called? Dell build and update utility. I mean, it sounds like the HP Smart Start um, thing. It's basically, you just put the disc in, yeah. it's got all the drivers on it, it, it pretty much asks us what, what you wanted to install. We said small business server, asks us our name, asks us our license key, what IP address we wanted. So it asks us all these questions that typically you might get asked at various stages of the installation. Where you'd have to be watching the screen Exactly, all the time. Yeah. yeah. So once you answered that, it was about five pages worth, wasn't it? Yeah. And then it, copied the first disk to the hard disk. It, it said, yeah, insert disk one of small business server, because that's what we elected to install, yeah. it's one of the options. Uh, we popped that in, and it, it just copied, copied to the, the hard file. disk, rebooted, and it's kicked off the install, and so far we haven't had to answer anything.